YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Nick, just dope back in the video. And JD Nature was down with it, man. Yes, sir, bro. Hey, look, man, it's gonna be like a, like a, I guess like a conversation, you know, talking kind of video, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, bro, I've been thinking about this for like the past couple of days, you know what I'm saying? And really not just a couple of days, but really just over the, over the past couple of like years, I guess when it comes to like sneakers and things like that, man. Um, and I had watched a video recently. I forgot her name. Uh, let me see if I can find her name. Uh, but she was basically just talking about like this, like the sneaker culture and then like, like with Gen Z and stuff like that. Uh, what's her name? Talks with TJ. You feel me? I might do like a little video reaction on her video, but she was just basically talking about like how like the sneaker game has changed and just like, just like, us as, cause I'm, a, cause I'm a millennial. You feel me? So like, us as millennials, you know, we we're we're like used to the, to the old ways. Of like, we're well not old ways, but like, we're we're so like, we love Jordans, right? We love Jordans, and Gen Z is like, they're not really on that like we were. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of, it was kind of like a great topic you know what i'm saying so i might do like a reaction to our video um but yeah bro i just wanted to like talk about like my 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 thoughts and views i guess on like the sneaker code just it's not gonna be a long video bro uh but yeah bro, i just want to make this quick little video man but for me um and and also i watched uh unbreakable kicks and i was on his uh live session for like i forgot what shoe it was but it was for like a live cop or something like that but uh, he was just talking about how like how like the economy is now and and like how jordan brand is you know they're like next year y'all saw like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody's seen jordan brand is like hitting the red button for next year you know what i'm saying like they are going crazy with the releases you feel me so um they're like for us as millennials, I, well, I'd speak for me. For for me as a millennial, um, a lot of those shoes is like some of my grails. I ain't gonna lie, like the um, like the undefeated fours. Like, bro, I've been wanting those since they first first released them. You know what I'm saying? But they were so not accessible that like the last time or when when they did drop. So, you know, it gives us as millennials gives us a chance to to cop the shoes that we didn't cop when when the first go around happened you know and then like some of the ogs like the the taxi 12s i think they said they dropping next year um the high 85 bread ones the great fives with the nike air you know what i'm saying all of these ogs and nostalgia shoes that came out once upon a time and for some of us we didn't have the money to cop or we just end up passing on them because we had priorities to take care of, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and, and all these shoes is like releasing, bro. And he was just having like a good discussion, man. And like, he was just talking about that. But like, even as I look at the shoes that's dropping next year, and it's like, bro, it, <laughs> as of lately, I've been, as like like as y'all seen like I haven't really been dropping a lot of like sneaker pickup videos. Just that's just because, bro. To be honest, shoot, life be life, and you know what I'm saying. Like, Jordan Brand is dropping way too much heat, and it makes everybody like really have to pick and choose like what you want to like what like what do you really want to buy? You know what I'm saying. Um, but then also it's like I'm getting older. You know what I'm saying. I'm like I'm getting older and. The shoes that I got in the back already, you know, to be honest, I barely wear them, you know what I'm saying? Because I be working all the time, but still, with like with that, with Jordans, bro, it's like, I'm more so, I'm like, as a millennial, I'm more so venturing off into like more comfort now instead of just look and style, you know what I'm saying? Like, shoes out, like, the shoes that I want to cut now, like, I want to be comfortable when wearing them, you, you like, like you feel me? Um, like Jordan 4s is, bro, Jordan 4s as of recently, or even, not even as recently, but like over the years, 
Jordan 4s, like for like everybody have been saying like Jordan 4s aren't, aren't really the most comfortable shoes. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, they not. But the SB4s, I ain't gonna lie, they changed the game. <laughs> you feel me? So like I'm really looking for like comfort wear. You know, and um like I'm looking to get into more new balance because I used to wear new balances like back in the day, but you know, once I was able to, you know, afford Jordans more, it was like that's like that's where I like spent most of my money at was Jordans, you know. But then like over the years I'm like, bro, these ain't really as comfortable like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like especially like if you go into like a theme park, bro, or you going hiking or something like that and the only shoes that you got to pick is some Jordans that you just recently picked up and you don't want to get those dirty. It's like, yeah. So yeah, bro, like I'm looking for like like comfort now, bro. Like New Balance. Um haven't really gotten into like the A6 and nothing like that, but I do understand that that's a new trend for 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 the Gen Z people out there, man. So um I I, I have thought about getting into them, but if I'm a bro, if I'm gonna do like a comfort shoe, I'm getting Air Maxes or New Balance. You feel me? Um, and then, on the plus side, they're cheaper than Jordan. So it's like, <sighs> yeah, bro. So like, a lot of stuff play like like comes into play when it comes to just sneaker culture and sneaker game, or or just the sneaker game in general when it comes to us millennials. And like I said, I'll just speak for myself, you know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, bro. Like, I like I really had to sit sit and think to myself, like, bro, if I <laughs> like if I could go back and count and just add up how much money I spent over Jordans since cuz I really started collecting back in what 2012 2013ish you know what I'm saying so that's day so that's really a decade like like consistently collecting like I like I started like consistently collecting back in 2012 2013 so that's 10 years bro 10 well now 12 <laughs> you feel me but yeah bro like if i just sit back and i just think about and just calculate every single purchase that i made bruh <laughs> like i bro and, and and i just like just just stack that money up over the years bro <sighs> dog <laughs> you know what i'm saying um and i say that to say like bro like it made us very well, I'm gonna just speak for myself again, right? It, it, it really just made me fight like financially irresponsible. I'm gonna just be honest, you know what I'm saying? And so now I'm really just picking and choosing what shoes I wanna buy now and just budgeting that into my budget, you know what I'm saying? And just saving up because Nate, 10 years ago, Nate, five, shoot, five, seven years ago would have just bought every single shoe that I saw coming out next year. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like, nah, I need to be more strategic. And that's what I have been doing really over the past, I can't really say last year, cause I kind of just cheated my my like budget and what I said I was copying. I kind of went over my, my limit, you know, <laughs> just, just to be real. But um, this year, I've really just been sticking to my guns and just saying, I'm not buying what I know is going to sit. You feel me? And I've been so like, just just sitting back and watching just the sneaker culture this like like this year and just noticing like everything like that's been taking place. Like, like what I've been noticing is before it comes out, if it's sitting like secondary market wise, like if it's sitting anywhere like $20 above retail on down, I know it's gonna sit. And so I don't I don't pick it up. Cause I know that like, shoot, hopefully a couple of months down, they're just gonna mark it down and I can just buy it for a cheaper price. You feel me? Um, so that's, that's really how I've been like playing it now. Um, the military blue, uh, the military blue floors. I knew those wasn't gonna sit, so I went on ahead and caught them because I know I wanted them. I shoot, I planned the purchase, so I I knew how much 
budgeting and wise and, and like all that stuff like i took like i take all of these things into account now like i guess you could say your boy's getting older i'm not young and just dumb with my oh dumb dumb with my money now you feel me so like anything like those like shoes that i know that's going like sell out that i really want i'm gonna just go ahead and budget it in and just make the purchase but if i know it's gonna sit like the olympic sixes i wanted them but i knew they was gonna sit because Gen Z don't care about sixes like that, unless they black infrared sixes. Let's just be honest. Um, even then, like the last time they did release, well, I don't really know though, cause I wasn't buying that in, back in 2019 when they did drop, or when they did re-release. But like, like anything that's not a Jordan Four or a Jordan One High 85 OG colorway. Well, I can't really say that because the burgundy metallics didn't sell out. So, um, but yeah, anything that's not like an OG Jordan 4 colorway or like a popular Jordan 4 colorway, like the the, the black cats, um, anything I really, I, I can't really say any other like Jordan colorway that's an OG. I can't really say it's a guarantee that it's going to sell out or, uh, yeah, or a sell out, right? So it's like, and I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just babbling. Like I've been thinking about this and, and when I when I talk, I just go off the top of the dome, bro. But like if it ain't a Jordan 4 OG or like a hype colorway of a Jordan 4, like the uh, White Thunder 4s, like those sold out. So, but I didn't really want those like that. But I knew like those are shoes that I would go for if I know I want them. But anything outside of that, like uh, like Olympic sixes, uh, what else that's been dropping? And that's another thing, bro. I have I really don't know what's dropping. <laughs> like I like I don't really pay attention to a Jordan release dates like that unless I know it's a shoe that I want. Like the like the Black Cement threes, I know I want those. Um, so those are on the budget. <laughs> you feel me? But um. And the Columbia 11s, Legend Blue 11s, like those really like the only two shoes that I know I am going to go in store and make an effort to cop. You know what I'm saying? Those I remember year threes wasn't technically in the budget, but I was like, if I can get them, and I don't got to stress and like, like just just do do above and beyond to get, then I'll go ahead and cop them. But yeah. And I'm still on the fence about keeping those, so I don't know. <laughs> so like, but yeah, like those are just like an impulse cop. Like I, like I really didn't want to cop those, but I was like, I'm gonna try them. Y'all, bro, y'all know how it is. Like if you see a shoe that's sitting and you low key want it, you're just gonna try it anyway. And that's and that's honestly how it was for the I'm on year threes that just dropped. Um, I don't really care about the I'm on year four, so I know I'm not gonna cop those. I'm not gonna try. Um, I'm not gonna let the the uh, the little trigger finger itch even tempt me to cop those. Nah, nah. I'm gonna just stay away from from my phone that day. <laughs> right? You like like y'all know how it is as uh, sneakerheads, bro. But yeah, bro. Like if it ain't one of those two, I'm low key straight on. Like, I do want the Olive Nines, but do I really want them? Like, I said I wanted the Olive Fives, but I didn't cop because I knew they was going to sit. But by the time I was going to cop them, they sold out. And I'm still not heard about it. So it's like, did I really want them like that? Or was it just because I saw that they was dropping and I wanted them since middle school? You feel me? Like now, I'm like Jordan Brand. Y'all ain't finna keep like like taking my money like y'all used to back in the day, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like as a millennial, we're getting older and we're making more responsible decisions. Like we have more priorities to take care of now. If you're not financially stable and all those things like that, then you really have to think about that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like shoot groceries we need um <laughs> we need a roof over our head you know what i'm saying we need gas in the car we need a car you know what i'm saying so it's a lot of things to take into account bro and i just wanted to talk about this bro because i've been thinking about it but <clears throat> yeah bro like i'm not saying that i'm done with the sneaker game 
I'm not saying that I'm done buying buying Jordans or nothing like that. I'm just saying like over the past, I'll say year and a half, I've really been sticking to my guns and slowing down on buying shoes, like buying 20, 30 shoes a year. You feel me? And those times is done, bro. Like I'm saving more money now. Like, <laughs> like, and it feels great to say, nah, I'm not gonna buy those. And it feels good to, on release date, not open the sneakers app. <laughs> you feel me? And forget that a shoe dropped on the Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels good to just do that. Like, like, over the past couple of months, really, minus the I'm on year threes. Like, every other Jordan, like, I've been, nah, I'm good. I'm straight. You feel me? My my cousin to call me, hey, cuz, oh, you getting it? Nah, I'm good. I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I'm cool on them. You feel me? So I don't know. I don't know why I really made this video. I I, I guess I just wanted to vent. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just get my thoughts on the sneaker game and the sneaker culture. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video. But like, I've been seeing like a lot of people saying like the sneaker game is 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 dead or is dying. I don't think that it's dying. I think the sneaker game is alive and well. I just feel like it's getting back to the old days. And me and my me and my partner Reggie, we talk about this all the time, bro. Like it's getting back to those times where shoes is gonna sit because because like I guess like all the hype and I don't even want to say hype beast. I, I ain't I ain't used that word in a long time. But I guess I'll say hype beast. Right, all the hype beats have, have have gotten weeded out, and you just have people that really like like the people that's buying Jordans now is just people that really like to shoot. You feel me? And they can afford to get it. You know what I'm saying? Or you, or you have the people that like the shoe, like like the shoes can't afford to get it, but it, but it going to get them anyway because they want to stay stay or caught up with the Joneses. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and that was me. I ain't gonna lie, that was me, like, like early, early in the game. Like, I was just buying shoes because I knew I had the money, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy them. And then, yeah. Then what? You feel me? They, like, like, they would just be sitting on the shelf collecting dust, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> but now I can really say the shoes that I do have now is shoes that I know I will wear, and I keep in constant rotation. If not, very often, I keep it in rotation off, you know. Um, so now I'm just really picky. Like if I have, like if I know a shoe coming out and I already have the like a similar colorway of it, I'm not gonna get it, you know what I'm saying? Like if another shoe comes out that has similar color colors to like the SB4s, I ain't gonna get it, bro. Like, just be real, bro. If a, if a shoe coming, like, the UNC ones, they they doing a reimagine next year. I'm not getting those, bro, cause I got I went back and got the 2015 ones. I, I I've been wanting to go back and get them since I sold them, you know. So yeah, bro, yeah, bro. I didn't mean or intend for this video to be this long. I just wanted to I I guess talk, you know what I'm saying? Talk to y'all about shoes and sneakers and stuff like that, man. But um, yeah, as far as like this channel, I've really been thinking about like switching up the content, like. Because, like I said, I don't really cop shoes as consistently as I used to a couple of years ago. So it's like, this channel is just sitting here. This was my very first channel that I ever started. So it's like, it's like it's just sitting here. And I don't want it to just sit here, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I, like I've been thinking about switching up the content on here. Um, so, for all my OGs, OG OGs on this channel, man, um, I mean, if you want to stick around, by by all means, be my guest, man. But yeah, like I said, not 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 saying that I won't do like sneaker content on this channel because I like I said, next year there are shoes that I do plan on copying, or that I am planning on copying. So yeah, there will be sneaker content on this channel. But like I said, I'm getting older, bro, and my my mind isn't always on shoes all the time i'm more so on like business entrepreneurship finances and things like that so even like because <clears throat> i have been thinking about like switching up to like fight like 
like not 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 really financial advice videos or, or tips, but just like just like stuff dealing with entrepreneurship, business, even finance. You know what I'm saying? Like like stuff like that. Stuff that I think about on a daily basis and that I also take part of on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Like like I'm pretty sure. If y'all OGs, y'all know I do have a clothing brand. It's, it's, it's in the works of being rebranded right now. But yeah, like your boy's an entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I do think about like business and things like that, man. So um, I wanted to try to find like a way to incorporate that. And I've been thinking about ways to, to incorporate, you know, those type of topics on, on this channel. So it's gonna be like a little switch up I'm um, having on this channel. Um, I'm thinking about like doing like reactions to like business videos and financial videos and entrepreneurship videos and stuff like that. So I don't want this channel to just uh, sit here being idle. You know what I'm saying? I, like I wanted to to progress. You know what I'm saying? Like this was my first channel, so like this is my baby, low key. You feel me? So I wanted to to grow. To be honest, you know what I'm saying? Like I do want it to grow. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I don't want this channel to just sit here and just flatline, you know what I'm saying? I want it to progress, you know, uh, or uh, to a progress, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man. Whew, that was a lot. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, yeah, like I said, though, I don't think the stinker game is dead. I just think we're just getting older and people are really being more smart and more like more strategic with their purpose not purpose with their purchases you know what i'm saying like what like really planning out what they're gonna cop because really next year that's what people are gonna have to start doing is like planning out what shoes they're like they're gonna cop next year you feel me like february alone in 2025 i think you got the the black metallic fives you got the high 85 breads and those is 250 so it's like, bro, yeah, bro, like, if bro, if you cop a shoe every weekend, like, if you cop one shoe every weekend for one month, bro, come on now, that's 200, 400, 600, 800, bro, you spending $800, and and you could have and you could have saved that eight hundred dollars and put it to something else. Like you could have invested it in something else. That's what I be thinking about now, bro. Like I, bro, I be like, yeah, nah. Like I can take that eight hundred dollars and put it in a stock or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I can put it in crypto. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I be thinking about stuff like that. Or 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 I can use that eight hundred dollars to reinvest and cop something for the channel to make the channel better. You feel me? Like to upgrade the channel. So it's like, that's the stuff I be thinking about now. And and even with the shoes that I got back here, shoot, I, I, bro, I low key be thinking about, hmm, that shoe right there, how much is it going for? 200, 250, 300, 100, you know what I'm saying? That's 100 I can use and use that to uh, reinvest into something, you know what I'm saying? So that's a, bro, that's the type of stuff I be thinking about now. And, and, when I first started, I didn't look at sneakers as an asset, you feel me, or something that I could use to reinvest, but now my mindset is on to bigger and better things. And shoes is just something that's going to come and go, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro, like, I be thinking about, okay, if I, should, if I sell this shoe right now and reinvest it and use it to make more money, I can buy four like four more pairs of shoes you know what i'm saying or or i can use that to buy something else you know what i'm saying like yeah that's the type that's the type of time i'm really on now bro like shoes it's always gonna be here you know what i'm saying but it's like what else can you do and shoes isn't really my only passion like i said i have a clothing brand i'm like like i want to see that progress i want to see my channels progress um yeah bro so yeah, man. All in all, your boy's getting older. You feel me? Us as millennials, we're getting older, and we 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 looking at different things now, bro. Um, even even Gen Z, like Gen Z and the generation after that, like like they're like they're becoming millionaires in high school, college. You feel me? Like, yeah. Y'all, hey, y'all like that? If you if you Gen Z or younger, bro, y'all, hey, y'all. 
y'all some real deal hustlers up here man like like y'all make stuff happen and i love that for y'all man for sure <clears throat> but yeah man like i said i will be switching up the content a little bit man like just yeah just switching it up a little bit and just seeing where the channel goes man hey if it don't work it don't work but like i said like i'm passionate about what i do want to bring on this channel next you know what i'm saying outside of sneakers you know what i'm saying so um i don't look at it as if it don't work it's a fail no if it don't work that's just something that that hey it just didn't work you know what i'm saying so but the main thing is that that's something that i love that's something that i'm passionate about and whether it works or not i'm gonna still do it you feel me like i've been like this channel this channel right here if you're new on this channel this channel right here and you're just watching this video i started this channel back in 2012 january 2012 and it is september 2024 so that's over 10 years that's what 12 years and i'm still on this channel making a video you know what i'm saying like and it ain't even touched a meal you know what i'm saying like shoot it ain't it ain't even touched a thousand yet you know what I'm saying? And notice I said, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That a thousand on the way, that first thousand on the way, man. But uh, yeah, bro, like this channel has, has, has seen a lot of ups and downs. I've been very inconsistent with this channel over the years. And all I'm saying is now I'm ready to be more consistent on this channel. Like when I first started, really, I wasn't really as consistent when I first started either, but hey, <laughs> but, but, but my second channel, I seen what I can do with that channel. Like, as far as like being more consistent and seeing what I can do with the channel. You know what I'm saying? So if I bring that same energy over here and shoot, even my third channel, like that, like that channel hit over or uh, hit a thousand last last year and it's about to hit 2K very soon. So it's like, you know, if I can be consistent on those two channels and 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 grow those channels, I can do the same thing over here, man. So that's all I'm saying, bro. Um, so, thank y'all for sticking with me for this on. If you're an OG and you've been here since day one, year one, first five years, first <laughs> first ten years, you know what I'm saying? Uh, thank y'all for sticking around. If you're brand new, welcome, welcome, man. I guess this is like a introduction to the new type of content that I'm gonna be making and on so yeah bro that's pretty much it i just want to make this video first before i do switch up the content just to just to i i guess um carry y'all into the new era of this channel instead of just abruptly whoa abruptly doing it out of nowhere and y'all just like whoa what happened what happened you know what i'm saying so yeah man that's it that's all i want to talk about man so that is it, man. Like I said, is the sneaker culture dead? No. We're just getting older and we've been more wiser and responsible adults and Gen Z and younger. They're not really into Jordans like that because think about it. They didn't even see Jordan. I, I low-key barely saw Jordan. You know what I'm saying? I saw Jordan um, the last year he uh, won the championship and I was, that was what, 98? I was in kindergarten, I think, or first grade, one of them. So, like, I I, I saw Jordan because Space Jam, of course. Um, but then, other than that, like, I really only seen him, like, his last season. I wasn't really into basketball like that. I just saw him because my dad used to watch him all the time. Um, and then, when he went to the Wizards, and that was when I was in middle school. So, it's like... Yeah, I barely saw him like that, but I still have an understanding and knowing who he is truly, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, but think about it. Gen Z and younger, they never saw him. So they don't really have that connection like we do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and when I say we, I mean gen, uh, millennials and up, you feel me? Like we have, like, like millennials, we got to catch the tail end. And then we also, we watch the highlights and all that stuff, but they, they're not really going back and watching highlights like that, bro. Let's just be honest. You know what I'm saying? Some of them might. Some of them might, but let's be real. They they, they, they like LeBron, um, <clears throat> Kobe, Curry, you know, all the younger players coming up, LaMelo, you know what I'm saying? All of them. Jordan, Iverson, Kobe. That was us. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
they was us. They was millennials. You know what I'm saying? They, like, like they was for us, man. But I'm done yapping now, man. So I'm gonna shut up and yeah, man. Uh, just stay tuned for all the content that I'm gonna be posting coming up, man. The new content and all this stuff, man. And just stay tuned, man. So with that being said, it's your boy Nature's Dope signing out. Deuces.